Hey guys, what's going on? Nick and Anthony here, and today we're cooking four kilos of pork and pork souvlé. What we got now, Donny? We've got two kilos of sirloin and two kilos of pork belly. Let's get cutting. Bloody beautiful, mate. All right, first we're going to get the sirloin. We're going to remove the tenderloin. We'll keep this for Mesovacchia after. Beautiful. Yeah. All right, we'll cut it now into fist-sized chunks. So we're doing it a little bit larger because we're going to be slow cooking it over the charcoal. Uh, using the souvla barbecue. So we're cutting into fist sized chunks. So now we're going to cut the pork belly. I'm just going to do the same thing into fist sized chunks. That actually looks killer. 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 Just put. So we're going to start with the spices. All right, we've got three grams white peppercorn, three grams black peppercorn, six gram coriander seeds, three gram oregano, and now we're going to combine that. And that's dry oregano. It's not too bad, man. All right, Nick, now to the second part of the mayonnaise. Yeah, so now I'm just going to be blitzing a few things together. So we've got 400 ml here of uh, freshly squeezed orange juice from the tree. Beautiful, mate. And we've got 200 ml of extra virgin olive oil. We've got roughly five garlic cloves. Just add them in. And how, many, how much rosemary have we got? Uh, four tablespoons. Uh, four, four, teaspoons. four teaspoons of uh, fresh rosemary. And then in here too, we're just going to add 45 grams. This is uh, Cypress sea salt. It sounds like a lot, but it's not that much once it mixes with all the liquids. Alright, so we're going to blitz this together. Done, mate. So now we're going to open them up. Have a look. Oh, smell, that. smell that there. Oh, that's bomba. So now Ant's going to add all the spices that he's crushed up into here and we'll mix it up together. They don't need to be blitzed. Oh, beautiful. Now we're going to combine this through well. You know what we deserve now? One little bit of uh, glass here. Oh, I'm back to mine. Hello, Mumbai. Cheers, mine. Cheers, man. Mm, nothing beats my caravan wines. <laughs> now we're going to put all the meat into one tub and start marinating. Bring the marinade, we'll pour it over. Oh, yours out, don't you? All right, now we're gonna mess up it into the meat. Make sure it soaks in so all the, all the flavor gets right into the meat. So as you can see, we make a little bit of a mess, but that's all right, because we need to massage it all really good. Just so it's all evenly uh, over all the pork. Nice and sexy. Absorbs. Absorbs. Beautiful. All right, now the marinade's well massaged in. I think it's time to pop it into the fridge overnight and let it let it marinate. That's all good. Nick. All right, let me pop this here. Put it there. Nice. All right, so that's sex. Oh, now we're getting ready to light the charcoal. So we've got our charcoal here in the bed. We're just putting some methylated spirits and uh, soaking our cotton balls in them. And then we're just going to light them up. Beautiful. Oh, that looks killer. 
All right, guys, the meat's marinated overnight. Well, we've lit the charcoal. It's time to now put the meat onto our souffle. And uh, we're going to start with the fat piece first. Yeah, we'll start with the, with the pork the... belly and then put a bit of sirloin and then just repeat that. All right, yeah, look. I'm done. First piece to do the honors. So we've got the fat side going down first. Beautiful. And then we're just going to continue the process the whole way uh, through. So there we go, there's four kilos of pork, sirloin, and belly. Charcoal's almost ready, we'll be putting them on in a minute. All right, now, Donnie, it's looking good, huh? Yeah, guys, it's uh, ready to ash. We're gonna put uh, some ash on there just to drop down the temperature a bit. What do you reckon, Donnie, it's all right? It's standing there, mate. Beautiful. So we're gonna, we'll go get the meat and we'll uh, get ready to start putting it on. All right, so what's happening here there, Anthony? Yeah, we'll start the fire just to let the temperature come up slowly. Um, yeah, we'll leave, it, uh, we'll leave it like this for probably about an hour, then we'll start to, to drop it as the temperature gradually drops down. All right, guys, so it's been going now for about an hour and a half. It's looking beautiful, mate. The fat's rendering nicely. Um, so it's got an internal temperature of around 50, 55 degrees. And what we've done is we've just set up another charcoal pole here, getting that one going. We just took some of the hot ones from over the initial um, light to get this one going. And we're just gonna start putting our mezzanaki on. We're gonna drop this down. So we've currently got it up on the third uh, level on the outer side. That was just to keep it away from the heat. We're going to now bring it to the inside and drop it down one just to start giving it some more um, some more heat. Beautiful. And Daxi, she's cooking, mate. We're we'll putting on a few meds of that gear, a bit of chicken thigh for that. So there's the full setup at the moment. We've been gone for two hours. The pork, the main pork's looking beautiful. It's starting to brown up because we've dropped it to the uh, second tier now. We've got on our mezzedagia, three little spits of uh, chicken thigh fillet. This one here's our pork tenderloin, which we separated before. And then we just got some uh, zucchini, some beetroot, and a bit of a uh, red capsicum as well. Just for the remainder of the cook, we're gonna drop it down all the way to the bottom just to brown it evenly throughout. That looks wild, huh? Yeah. All right, Mr. Zaki are ready. We're gonna take them off. Nibble on these there uh, while we wait for the pork to finish off. All right, this is ready to come off. We're gonna lift them to the highest position. We're gonna wrap them in our pork just to hold in the juices. Let it rest for 10, for 10. and uh, then we'll cut him open. Have a look. Let's have a look. Wow. Nice and juicy, mate. Mmm, that, that is wild, man. Lucky we've done uh, two spits, Nick, because I don't reckon there's going to be much left after this. <laughs> Guys, thank you very much for watching. My mouth's full. We're going to go inside now and enjoy our food with our family. Thank you very much. See ya.